Hi, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA 2018.3.3 as well as to um, configure it and one of the things I'm going to show you is how to change the entire look and feel and color scheme of the IDEA from this to this. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to install the IDE. So let's go to the jetbrains.com website and select IntelliJ IDEA download. So IntelliJ IDEA comes in two versions, Ultimate and Community. The Ultimate version is paid, Community is free. So we're going to download the Community version. And there are basically two ways to install. One is using the regular installer in Windows and or a zip file. Uh, a zip archive is useful for example if you are on a corporate machine where you don't have local admin rights. But for the purposes of this video let's select the regular installer. This may take a while so be patient. One other piece of software that might be useful to install is the um, is the Toolbox app. This application uh, is useful, at least in Windows, I'm not sure if it's available on Mac, prob probably it is. It basically enables you to manage um, a heavier it running in my system. So it basically enables you to manage an open uh, project from a list here. Uh, you can get regular updates and install other um, you know, JetBrain tools. So if you want that and give it a go. Now that we have um, IntelliJ IDEA downloaded, so let's install it. So let's click yes here and let's go. So the first time you, um, so if you are installing IntelliJ and you have a previous version installed in your system, IntelliJ gives the option to uninstall the previous version. Let's just skip that and select the place where we want to install the um, IDE. Okay, so when you uh, start IntelliJ uh, the first time after the installation, um, you basically have two options. One is if you have a previous uh, version installed, then you can upgrade and this basically imports all the settings from a previous installation but for this video I'm going to um, assume that you don't have a previous, uh, you're not upgrading, you're doing a fresh install so just let's just select the not import settings. We'll revisit this um, shortly. Okay so the first thing that the installer gives us an option for is uh, to select UI theme. You have basic two options, the light or the dark, so let's go with the light here we configure the basic plugins so we will need Maven and Gradle uh, version control we will need um, git subversion and uh, I'm just gonna put git in github uh, test tools, JUnit, uh, testng, I'm not gonna need that, coverage is okay, swing, disable, we're not gonna be doing swing development or android uh, other tools, bytecode viewer might be good, task management, no XML. This is if you want to import the clips, um, terminal, JavaStream debugger, YAML for Ansible, let's just not do that. And disable this as well, so let's continue. And uh, I think we're good here, so let's go. Let's actually open the project and customize the IDE. But before that, let me install a plugin which is going to display the uh, keys that I'm pressing, called uh, obviously not on install but on marketplace, called Presentation Assistant. So let's install that. This basically displays the um, um, 
shortcuts that I'm typing for both Windows and Mac um, using the default key map. You can customize what are the keys that is going to be shown. I'll show this shortly as soon as we open this project. Okay, so as you can see, if I type now something, for example, um, an action, find action, now you see that it displays here in this tooltip. Or if I open the project settings, then you see that it also displays that. And you can uh, make the um, what's displayed consistent with your um, key map. So if you're not using the default, you can select the option appropriate to the um, key map that you are using. Okay, so um, the m one of the most important things you want to customize is the uh, colors and the fonts of the source code. Um, so to do that, uh, IntelliJ comes, um, so there is this thing called the switcher, a quick switch um, scheme, which allows you to quickly change the entire look and feel of the, of the entire IDE. So uh, IntelliJ comes packaged with three uh, look and feels. Uh, this is the light and both and these two are dark. So this is called the darkular uh, look and feel. As you can, this is basically how it's rendered and you see it's quite different, it's very dark. And uh, the uh, and, uh, you have the high contrast and that's basic for people that uh, you know don't see well that have sight issues. Um, so let's put it back to the uh, light scheme. So now finally let's install the um, a really nice plugin that uh, offers lots of options in terms of themes and color schemes called Material Plugin. So let's go to the plugins and go to Marketplace Material Theme UI. So let's install this. Okay, so first time uh, you um, install the, um, the, uh, the plugin, it's going to give you a configuration. So this is awesome, man. It's like a yes, fantastic option. So you select um, the teams you want. Um, so it comes with oceanic, darker, pale night, lighter, deep ocean, monoke, darkula, one dark, one light, solarized dark, which looks awesome. Collect whatever you want, pale night, you can switch this as you will see. So let's share the statistics because these people are awesome. And that's basically how it looks. So just like any other um, team, you can use the switcher uh, to change the color scheme. And notice that we got all of these extra um, schemes that comes from the um, material team uh, plugin. Um, you have you have the ability to change it here. So they create their own you know menu option. And as you can see, you know you can change it uh, to whatever you want. Um, it's really up to you what you like. Solarized dark team. So this is super cool, looks really nice. In the unlikely event that you need another look and feel for your um, IDE, then there is a site um, called color-teams.com where you can install a, um, a theme that might not be there in the uh, material plugins. Um, I mean, just for the sake of example, let's download something here like Dark Juno. So just download it. Keep. So after the file is correctly downloaded, you go back to IntelliJ and you install it import settings and you select the location heat temp 
screencast start tool. So let's select all the options. We have to restart the IDE. And as you can see, this color um, scheme has automatically taken effect. But this concludes our video on how to install and configure the look and feel of IntelliJ IDEA. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and also click on the uh, bell icon to be notified about future content that's going to be published here. And also please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below on um, anything that you might want to see in the future or any positive uh, criticism uh, so that I can improve these videos moving forward. Thanks for watching and this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com.